what we're going to do is focus on the five elements. Now, the five elements is like a map that's describing the territory. What's the territory? You're the territory. It's describing you and your energy system and your mind-body connection and how we relate to the external world around us. Five elements is seen as the map where the formless becomes the form, where the invisible life force energy starts to consolidate and create the form around us. Like we see the earth, we see the trees, that's the wood element. We see the water, the rivers, and the ocean. We see um, the metals and the ores. Like when we look at a city, when these buildings, it's the metal element that humankind has been able to use and mold and craft in the shape of our imaginations. So five elements is when formless takes form, the chi becomes the stuff, right? So one of those things that gets shaped and formed from the invisible life force energy is your body. Your physical body is an expression of the five elements. Now, when form starts to turn to formless, it's also part of that five elements. So for example, that's the difference between your physical heart and the circulatory system pumping blood through your body. That's the form, and the formless is like emotional energy, love and joy and happiness. That's formless because we can't, we can't put love into a test tube and look at it. We can't give somebody love. I mean, you can by giving them some chocolate, of course, but you have to, the love and the emotion is formless. It doesn't have shape, okay? So that's the difference between energy as it shapes into form and formless. So chi will take, take shape into these two qualities, whether it's your physical organs or your emotional energy system. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on some five element flows, some standing postures, some sounds, some colors. We've been talking a lot about the healing sound, so we'll review some of what we've been talking about to really create a profound healing effect in our mind-body system. So that will, that will take place over the next couple of weeks. We'll put that all together and create a nice um, package of the five elements. So we'll start off with our, our normal principles of practice. We'll start off with some breath work. We'll start off with some warm-ups and some stretches, and then we'll go into five element training. So let's bring hands over the belly. Bring your hands over your belly. Take some nice deep breaths here. Just get centered. Get balanced. This area here is called the lower Dantian. Translated, elixir field. Elixir means the healing energy of your body. And the field is like the energy field, a formless energy field that your body has within it. So as we bring attention here, you're creating a powerful healing energy within yourself. When you inhale, let the abdomen expand. And when you exhale, abdomen moves back towards the spine. Inhale, let the abdomen expand. Exhale, abdomen back towards the spine. Feel your mind and your body starting to relax into the center. Hands to your sides, bend your knees. Let's knock on the door of life by turning from the hips and the waist. Letting your arms knock across your lower abdomen. Letting your arms knock across your lower back. Activate some chi, wake up your body's energy system. Keep some mobility and flexibility moving through your spine. And come up to your chest. Knock just below your collarbone. Knock just below the collarbone. Bring some energy into your lungs and into your immune system points. Take a nice deep breath. Come up over your shoulder and let's do a little clearing in your upper back and your neck. Clear some tension or some tightness, get some energy to circulate through the neck and shoulders and right up into your brain. 
That's why this point is good for clear thinking. Wonderful, and come back down to your chest. And back down to your lower back and your lower abdomen. Take a nice deep breath. And let's drop into water waves. Drop into water waves. Let your hands glide through the air in front of you. And let the hands glide through the air behind you. And breathe. Clear your mind of the worries or the stress. Drop into your center. Know that there's always a place of inner peace within yourself. And you're navigating back to that place that feels good within yourself. Push away the worries and the stress. Let your mind connect to the present moment. Feeling the movement in your joints. Feel the movement in your hips, through the joints of your spine. Relax your shoulders. Feel the movement in your arms. Slowly unwind. Slowly unwind, relax. Ah, and feel. Feel that activation of your energy. Spinal cord breathing, it's inhale, look up, open the chest. Exhale, round your back. Somebody asked about mindfulness and its connection to movement. So when you're moving your body, mindfulness is simply paying attention to what your body is doing. So if you pay attention to your spine, for example, let your awareness drop into the spine a little bit deeper and just feel those articulations from the cranial base and your neck all the way down to your low back and tailbone. And notice the front of your spine as you open the chest. And notice the back of the spine as you round. Go nice and slow. Breathe into that long, deep breathing. Inhale as you open your chest. And then exhale and round your back. Relax, relax, very good. Take a little wider stance, take a little wider stance. Hands by the heart, heart to the sky. You're gonna just open the heart, let it come upward. This is gonna elevate your mood as well as increase capacity to your lungs. Palms touch, sink the chest back. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, palms touch. And inhale, open the chest. Exhale, palms touch. And a deep breath. Inhale, heart to the sky. Let your heart center elevate. Exhale, we cleanse and we let go of any emotional stress. And inhale, elevate your heart energy. Exhale, palms touch. And a deep breath. Palms touch. Good. Bend your knees. 
Let's do an exercise for longevity, for health and longevity. Swimming dragon. If you guys remember, I learned this from a 106-year-old female teacher in Beijing. She was just amazing. I'd go to her class every day uh, as long as I could. And we do a lot of different swimming dragon styles. So her recommendation was 20 minutes of Qigong every day, and she guaranteed you will live longer than 100. All right, that's a pretty good guarantee, huh? Swimming dragon, especially good for longevity. Bend your knees a little bit. Shift your weight over to your left side. Push your hands left and turn your head to the right. Come back to the center. Shift your weight right. Push your hands right. Turn your head left. Come back to the center. Now we're going to shift the weight. Push the hand back to the center. Shift the weight. Push back to the center. And shift. And come back. That's it. Back and forth. Pump the energy through the body. And it's that opposite movement. The head turning over the opposite shoulder is what brings deep circulation into your spine and into the internal organs. Feel that moving through the rib cage. Feel that moving through the rib cage. Massaging the internal organs. And feel as you press the hand away from the head turn, you're moving energy through the spine, right between your shoulder blades and right into your neck area. Now come to the center and let's bend the knees. Let's just create some energy and heat in the body. Lift your elbows a little bit. Keep the knees open and your tailbone tucked under. Feel how that works into your lower spine. Press your palms together a little bit. Take some deep breaths. And just power up that yang energy, the energy, the upward focus of the energy. If you want to even more workout, bend into it more. Now we start swimming dragon by moving the spine, moving the joints of the spine. That's it. Move and then bring your hands up by your forehead and move energy into the middle part of your back. Hands come up over the head. Move energy through the ribs in the upper back. Just get things to unlock and move in your body. Wonderful. Now reach up, reach up. Take a nice deep breath. Hands down, down by the heart. And inhale, open your chest. Exhale, palms touch. And a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Palms touch. Exhale. Palms touch. Wonderful. Let's do it again. Bend your knees. And when you come across, push the hands. See if you can straighten or move the inner elbow a little straighter as you turn your head. When you come to the center, try to bend your knees a little bit more. Kind of dip down. Get the strength in your legs. And then straightening that inner elbow. Turn the head. Dip down. And press. And then dip down. And press. Wonderful. Back and forth now. Pump the energy through your body. Back and forth. Wonderful. Swimming dragon. Feel that, how that increases your circulation. Just warms everything up in your body. And this is extremely important. Improve circulation, especially the microcirculation around your organs and through the joints. Come back to the center. Sink into it. 
Press the palms together, take a deep breath. Build your power and then we're gonna swim the dragon. Move the energy in your spine you and go nice and slow. Come down a little lower. And then move the energy through the spine. Hands come up over the head. All the way up over the head. And we reach up and come back to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, palms touch. And a deep breath. Palms touch. Inhale, go into flow. Breath, become still. Let your mind become still. Exhale, relax into that downward flow. Pause the breath. Allow your mind to enter into the present moment. Now you're in motion, but you're in meditation as well. Mind relaxing into the present moment. Your body relaxing into the flow. In this state, your energy system gets amplified, circulates more efficient, efficiently, and the healing power within you becomes ignited. One more time. Hands come down, bend your knees, arms round. The next flow is for your kidneys. It's called the fountain. So we go back of the hands towards each other, glide your hips back a little bit, tuck your tailbone under and roll and wave up through the spine, arms out to the sides, glide the hips back, tuck the tailbone under, roll up, arms go out to the sides, glide the hips back. And let's inhale as we come up. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Inhale, rolling up, up through the spine. Exhale, out through the sides. The kidney meridian comes up the inside of the legs and is right under the collarbone. So with your hands, you're gliding or coaxing the energy up through that kidney meridian. Inhale, glide or coax the energy up through that kidney meridian. Relax into that flow. Kidneys associated with the water element. So let your body become like water. Let your body become and move like water. Your spine like a wave in the ocean. When you inhale, it just expands with intrinsic power from the inside out. Let the energy rise as the hands lift. When the hands come down, it's like the wave sinking back into the ocean to discover its depths. Enter into that wonderful, refreshing, rejuvenating flow. If your body was water, how would you move? Then realize that your body is water. 70 to 75% of you is water. So just move from that space, relaxing into this meditative flow.
Bring your hands in front of you. Let's feel the chi ball. Hold that chi ball and just pump the hands a little bit back and forth. Pump the hands a little back and forth. As you pump the hands, do a little seaweed in the ocean, right? So your spine rocks and sways with the current of energy. Arms round and in front of you now. We're continuing to work the different elements of the body. So the first one, Buddha holds up the earth, was the metal element connected to your lungs. The second one, the water element connected to your kidneys. Now we're going into the wood element, which is connected to the liver. The liver meridian runs up the inside of the legs, right into your rib cage. And there's an inner branch of that meridian that comes to the crown of your head. So the movement is coming up one side all the way to the crown of the head. Come back to the center and then the arms go out and down, connecting to the roots, right? Wood is a transformation of water. So feel when you come up, you're drawing that nourishment up from the earth all the way through the trunk to the top of the trees. And then you spread it out through all the branches and the leaves. Arms round and turn. Inhale as you come up, all the way to the crown of the head, back to the center. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Round and turn, and a deep breath. Crown of the head, arms out to the sides. Turn. Inhale, float the arms up. Center, arms out to the sides. And turn. Inhale. There's a pause in the breath as you turn. Then exhale, float the hands out. Pause in the breath as you turn. And inhale, float the arms up. When you float the arms out, it's like you're emptying out the mental stress and the excess of thoughts. Feel grounded. Draw refreshing, rejuvenating energy up through the body, all the way to your brain. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Feet together. Relax. Relax into your center. Do a little rock and sway. Bamboo in the wind, let all that wonderful healing energy just settle into all your cells and settle into your lower Dantian so that you always have a surplus of energy within you whenever you need it. A deep breath and relax. Hands down to your sides. Okay, wonderful. That was um, what we call five element flow. And that was our first one, often called five elements introduction or for beginners. And that gives you a nice full package of the five element practice. We could add on to that by adding colors and sounds and meditations and different standing postures. And then there's also a five element flow part two and a five element flow part three that we'll get into gradually over these next couple of weeks.